Once you have the BizBiz Biz application installed and your pages are built, administering your site is really easy. If you've ever been uh, de dealing with Dreamweaver and FBL, FBML code, you really appreciate the simplicity that BizBiz Biz brings to the table. Uh, obviously, if you're logged in as an admin, you're not going to see you, you will see these horizontal, these two additional horizontal blue bars. Uh, you'll see one on the top, which is the normal site view uh, that has your manage your pages and your edit your page links in it. And then on every page, you'll also see this click here to edit this page button, which allows you to jump to immediately and edit the page that you're on. But for these purposes, let's go edit our contact us page. So we're going to we can either go to the page or we can go through the admin area. Let's go through the admin area. Click on manage your page. And then we'll go to Edit Pages. And from here, we need to click on the page that we want to edit. So we're going to edit the Contact Us page. And you can see here our media box is empty. So we're going to click Edit. And when we do that, our, our text editor will pop up. And we'll be, we're going to paste in a WooFoo contact form. So we've got the iframe code already ready. We need to go into Source Mode. So click Source. Anytime you embed any sort of code, into a page whether or embed code, whether it's iframe or an object code or something like this for a video, you need to go into source mode inside the editor and then paste your code in there. And then over on the top right, simply just hit save. And it's going to give you a, a preview of the rendering of your form. Uh, in this instance, a contact form. If we want to change some settings on the page, we can click settings. And now we can, we don't need to mess with the iframe height or width. We can go to label settings. And we can just hide that media box up there for now. We'll hit Save Settings, and we'll go back and view. now all this everything's been saved. And now we'll view the change, and we'll click on our contact link, and now we've got a nice contact form there. It'll submit just fine. Um, in order to add another page to the top navigation to fill in the space, we're going to go up to the top right and click Manager Page, and we're going to go to Tabs and Layout, and we're going to click Add a Page. And we'll call this new page. And we want it on the top navigation again, so we're just going to leave everything else the same and save settings. We need to make sure that we have some content on the page, so again, we're going to drag the, drag the media box in. And we're going to hit save layout. And then we're going to add another page. And we'll call this one final page. And again, we'll leave the tab location at the top. We'll actually put it after contact us and we'll save settings and again we need to make sure that we add a media box so we can put content onto the page drag and drop that right in let it snap into place on the canvas and hit save layout and now the layout's been saved we can go view our page and we've got new page well, we put the new page over here earlier so here's one there's a second one there's our final page so now our navigation is nice and full we wanted to go ahead and start editing these pages simply click on the new page we just created you notice that it's under construction. Here's the media box we put in. And then the final page, we can click on that. As well, because we dragged the media box in there, it's going to put a placeholder here for us. And we can click here to edit this page and immediately be taken to the area. We can click edit. Our text editor will pop up. And then we can start dumping in uh, content. If we want to embed something, we go to source mode and whatnot. If you want to add an image into a page, we need to go click the image box. And then we need to upload the image to the server. So we'll click upload and we'll browse for the image. Let's see we wanted to add this little image here. We need to then click send it to the server. And it's going to give us a preview of what this is. This is the bizbiz.net. It looks like the uh, the Twitter logo. Uh, we can put in our alt text. We can align this image to the right. If we had some additional text to dump in, we could get, put some bogus uh, text on the page. Let me copy this here real quick. And we'll hit OK, and then we'll paste that text in, and we will hit Save. And so we'll get a preview of what our page looks like. There's our image tucked in the corner, and now when we go to View the Page, and go to the Final Page, you'll see how the text and the image lined up. So if our image is bigger, we can also set the, the what they call the horizontal space and the vertical space around the image as well. So adding text and images and creating pages in BizBiz Biz is very simple. and uh, Keep a look out for the come back to this site, uh, the BizBiz Support and Tutorials page, and we'll have a bunch of videos that go through how to um, add all kinds of stuff to your BizBiz page. Thanks.